Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to connect the auto steer to the app. So for starters, first it is important to turn on your ECU. And following that, you should connect your device to the ECU Wi-Fi network. And once you've done this, we will go to the app settings. Then you go to the side bar, the menu bar and you select settings now you have to scroll all the way down to the auto steer section so what is important to note is you want to make sure that the enable auto steer is on so you want to swipe it to the right next you go to connection type and it really depends on your connection type but for now we are using Wi-Fi then you want to make sure that your device is connected to the ECU. Following this, you will go to Auto Steer Wi-Fi IP address. And you want to make sure that you have the correct address. So you just want to fill it in. And for us, that is 10 100 100 100. And then you press OK. And once you have done this, then you can go back to the main page, the navigation menu. And for our example, you will see that the Wi-Fi is on. It is connected to the ECU and um, you would be connected to the field B receiver. So you have to make sure that you, if you change source, that you are connected to the receiver. And once you fill in your information and you select the arrow button, then you should be ready to go. For now, we will use a live demonstration. So remember to connect to the internet with your ECU. Then you have to make sure that all your devices are connected, the ECU and the field B, and make sure you connect to an internal device. And following this, you can start. Remember, you first have to make your first line. So you press A at the beginning, press B at the end, and then you can start with auto steer. So when you see the blue icon, that is when you want to stop with the auto steer and when you want to drive again you press the black icon and this way you will know when to stop and when you can start and that's it